just 18 months old and you crawled up and, and started playing piano. Do you remember that at all? It's kind of hard to remember, but it seems like I've always played the piano and I always have music around me. I just think about it 24-7. You played the piano at the White House when you were just six years old? Yeah. What was that like? It was so amazing. I was like running through all of the rooms, the blue room, the red room, and... Did the security guard stop you? <laughs> no. no? <laughs> Did you play for the president? Yeah, it was really cool to meet him, but I was not expecting the thick southern accent he was in. Oh, so you played for President <laughs> George W. Bush, Mommy, right? He's a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I know your mom is here as well, Andrea. And Andrea, tell us what when you noticed that your daughter had this incredible proficiency on the piano. My mother came to visit and took care of the children while I was away on a trip with my husband for a couple of days. And she thought it was the older, my older son, who was seven years old, playing the piano. And she was just two years and one month old. She was playing and already creating. It's, it's like she breathes music, so it's really quite surreal. <laughs> and it must have been so exciting, though, to watch this incredible talent present itself, right? It's like a, a flower that blooms on high speed, and it's just so full of joy, truly. Um, she loves it. It's, there's not, I mean, every day is, um, there's a new adventure, new songs being created, um, whether it's jazz or classical, it's never boring. And in fact, you love to play all those things. You like to play classical music, jazz, all kinds of different music. Yeah. What's, on, what's on your iPod? What music do you like to listen to? Well, I think my favorite band is Coldplay. Coldplay. Well, I can see why, because he does a he beautiful job on the, on the piano, piano, right? And I know that Quincy Jones got in touch with you, is that right? Yeah. And so what did he have to say? Well, um, he's just so amazing, and it was so cool to talk to him, and he's kind of like a mentor now, and it's really awesome. You're 11 years old, so you not only do a, a magnificent job playing the piano, but you've already scored two movies, and you've composed a piece for the Santa Fe Orchestra as well. Yeah. When did you write your first piece of music? I guess probably when I was like two or three. It just comes out every day and I don't, I don't really think about it. And do you play by ear or, or both? I mean, both. You, you, so yeah. obviously you're, you're a trained pianist, but you also play by yeah, ear. Yeah, like when I was learning my first concerto, the rule in our house was if you can't read it, you can't play it. So. Oh, so they didn't want you to rely too much on your ability to play by ear. They wanted me to do both, but my first teacher said that if I had too much ear, I would never learn to read music. Well, we brought a clip of the movie that you scored. We thought it might be fun to show the visuals and show the music that you composed sure. for the score of the movie. So, Emily Bear, take it away. So talented, and when I, Emily came by yesterday to kind of familiarize herself with the piano, and I got to, to listen to you play all sorts of things, and you really are extraordinary. Thank you so much.